Next is your accessory nerve. Now this is one that confuses students quite a lot. So the accessory nerve has two components. This is the most important thing you must get. It has parts which come from the cervical region of the spinal cord. Okay, cervical is the neck region of the spinal cord. It has bits which come off C1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1 to 5. It also has bits which come directly, just like all the other cranial nerves, from the actual cranial root. Okay, so this is the medulla here. Medulla, straight off the medulla. Okay, so if I ignore this bit here, which is coming from the cervical region, it looks just like 10 does. There's vagus number 10 there coming down. 11 looks just the same. The only difference is it's an amalgamation of cervical spinal roots and cranial roots, which amalgamate there while it's within the cranial fossa. Then it goes through the jugular foramen, and then from then on to the rest of the body, it just looks like a normal cranial nerve. So out it comes through jugular foramen with vagus and glossopharyngeal and then descends. And this is called your accessory nerve. Why is it called accessory? Because it carries a hand back. Okay? Unlike all the other cranial nerves which just leave and head out, it's got this little hand bag which is received, which has come up through foramen magnum to come and join it, and it's got an accessory, which is why it's called the accessory nerve. And then it drops down and it's going to supply muscles like here, the sternocleidomastoid, and here, the trapezius. Okay? This one's going to help you to do what a naughty five-year-old does. And if you just focus on me just for a second, so what do you do with a naughty five-year-old when you ask them something and they don't want to speak, they just shrug their shoulders or use their head. So one of the things you can do is say, do you want your breakfast this morning? So that is the naughty five-year-old saying no, and they're using this sternocleidomastoid muscle to twist their head from side to side. Or you ask them, do you want your breakfast this morning? And they're just like, and between me and you are thinking, well, what does that mean? Does it mean it's not bothered, it's not interested? But that's the general shrug your shoulders, and that's using the trapezius muscle.